Welcome back to CAD CAM tutorial. Today we are going to take a simple model in SOLIDWORKS or simple exercise in SOLIDWORKS and we will create with the help of 2D drawing. And here we will learn some basic features like extrude cut, extrude boss base and how to use offset in extrude boss base. So let's see how to make this simple 3D model in SOLIDWORKS. Now here let's start exercise number 107 in SOLIDWORKS. So we are going to model this simple 3D model. So let's start with this base plate. You will see diameter 78 millimeter and there is one small circle and that is R15. There is inside 12 dia circle and there are three circles. And this orientation or this uh, distance uh, radius is R28 then uh, this distance from center point is 40 and this is 40 at 45 degree these two holes and we will extrude this one up to 20 millimeter i'll go to file new and i'll select here part now background you can change it from here unit you, you can keep millimeter okay now first option is extruded boss base if you choose it will ask you which plane you like to start so i'll select top plane I'll select circle and the first diameter is 78 enter now the second diameter 15 into 2 let's define the center distance 40 millimeter now here we need to define a relation select these two points Hold shift key, make horizontal. Now see both fully defined sketch. Okay, let's define. Again, press C in keyboard and you will enter in circle command. Okay, let's, it's I think not defined, that's why. Now this r28 28 into 2 now here select for construction purpose see let me choose here line and this diameter 12 here also draw the same diameter 12 now just move this one and coincide with this circle if you want to find the angle just click on the line and select at the center point and you will see this bread click this one and define angle 45 degree mirror entity let me choose mirror click copy mirror about this line you will see the preview that's fine line i'll select if you move your cursor you will find somewhere tangent see if you hold shift key select line and this circle tangent see drawing seems fully defined mirror entity click line mirror about this line now here even we can trim this all but we will lose our constraints so better to keep as it is and extrude Now here, first thing we need to choose blind and condition. 20 millimeter, okay. Now here in selected contour, we need to choose. Now let's say, okay. Now see, we selected all the parts except hole. 20 millimeter, say okay.
okay now it's more visible let's extrude this uh, cylinder 65 millimeter and uh, there is one hole also 20 millimeter and 30 millimeter is we need to extrude okay then there is one more this circle we need to extrude and uh, this one r40 r30 and 30 millimeter height and this is parallel to this face select this face a sketch i will select here 30 enter again click 20 enter now see drawing is fully defined so first let's extrude and this one we will extrude up to 65 millimeter okay now let me choose the same sketch extruded cut this time we will choose through all both see it's going to cut in both side selected contour and here choose the inside circle only otherwise it will cut your outer body also see direction one direction two both selected okay now i'll show you see a throughout hole is created top face is sketch now let me draw two circles 40 into 2 80 30 into 2 60 let's connect with line now click on the line horizontal construction geometry ninety see it's fully defined so I'll select line and connect from here to here now let's try to choose trim entity power trim just press your left mouse and drag see it's going to trim see it's trimmed now in the same sketch we will make this one also you will see this one is parallel with center line means at this point it is tangent 10 millimeter width and offset distance is 10 millimeter i will show you how to make this one first we will extrude this up to 30 and that angle this is this center point just click and define angle and this angle is 12 degree okay now select the line point and hold shift key and this origin point vertical see this is fully defined sketch mirror entity select this line mirror about this line okay now here let me choose this circle convert entity so that we will get a close loop isometric view extrude now end condition blind 30 millimeter and i'll choose this two phases see it is going upward simply reverse direction save again i'll use the same sketch extrude and this time i'll choose these two faces end condition blind 10 millimeter reverse direction but there is a 10 millimeter offset so from from where is going to start offset 10 millimeter see again it's moving upward so click reverse now let's see how it moves 10 millimeter below the top surface see now here let's create a rib and this rib uh, thickness is 10 millimeter then there is one hole cut out 12 by 18 millimeter 
and here one more cutout that is 16 millimeter and depth you will see 6 millimeter. So, let us make first depth line escape again press L key draw one center line escape click the line construction geometry select this line make relation I will choose hold shift key select both the edges click convert entities mirror entity I will choose line mirror about this line ok. Now, you can drag and fix here oh that is fine let us define distance 16 millimeter now see drawing is fully defined trim entities power trim just drag and press hold left mouse and drag and it will extrude it cut. Now, the depth end condition blind depth is 6 millimeter see now what front plane is sketch now here we need to make one cut out ok center rectangle 18 tab 12 enter distance from top edge is 30 millimeter center point of square and origin point tangent relation go to feature and choose extruded cut now here keep through all both direction see it is going to cut in both sides. front plane is sketch now here we need to create a rib you will find a point connect point to point point if we saw this is black li line means it is fully defined the sketch rib see arrow moving towards the body it is very important keep here both side 10 millimeter a degree or anything we do not need say yes see here the rib is created let us on let us assign some metal like copper I hope you like it do not forget to share and like our video and please subscribe our channel for more video and more projects in solid work. Thanks for watching.